Okay, so I have created almost a zero carb strawberry shortcake. First of all, have you guys tried this country crock plant cream? It is zero carbs, and all you do is beat the crap out of it in your mixer, add a little bit of stevia, and you have a whip topping. It is so good. Strawberries. All you do to your strawberries, smash them up, clean them really good, cut them up, smash them up, add a little bit of stevia, put them on, in a container, put them in the fridge, and just let them get cold, and they will turn into the perfect, perfect strawberries. Okay, so what do you need for the cake? I need some lupin flour, which I've already measured out because it's hard to get out of the bag. You need some almond flour, any kind. I've tried ultra fine. I've tried the, the heavier stuff. I've tried it all. You need some xanthan gum, stevia. I'm using just egg. If you want to try something else, go right ahead. And bacon powder. That's it. So, this is so simple. In a bowl that you're going to cook, you're going to microwave in. Yeah, did I tell you that this is microwave? Literally only takes minutes. So you got your two tablespoons of lupin, two tablespoons of almond flour. I don't measure my stevia. I just kind of, mm, what is that? Like a quarter of a teaspoon maybe? Speaking of a quarter of a teaspoon, you need a quarter of a teaspoon of your xanthan gum. Spread it around here. You need a half a teaspoon of your bacon powder. Okay, then you need to mix that up pretty good. So hang on here a second. You want your xanthan gum to be widely distributed because it can get gummy. <laughs> xanthan gum, gummy. So once you have all that mixed up pretty good, and yes, you can um, sift it if you want to make it really nice. Okay, so you're going to have to have three tablespoons of egg. See how I'm going to do this one-handed holding the holding the phone. That's going to be interesting. Okay. So there's one. Can you believe this? Should have measured this out too, huh? Two. Three. Then you need two tea, two tablespoons of really hot water. And see how it's starting to bubble up? That's how you know you got your water hot enough. You want it to bubble up. Then you're just gonna mix this together. I just pull it all in from the sides. Be gentle, you don't have to beat it up or anything. Just, you're just trying to get it wet. You're not even trying to really mix it up that well. You just want everything to be wet. Before you stick it in the microwave. If you have like quite a bit of dry stuff, get a little bit more water and put it in there. Doesn't even have to be a whole tablespoon. That was about a half. And again, you're just trying to get everything wet. Okay. And it's gonna have like a bready, pockety look. That means you did it right. You don't want the dry stuff. See this dry stuff right here? Keep pulling away from the wall until you can get it mixed in with the wet. Okay. You want everything to be down on the bottom before you stick this in the microwave so to puff up and make a solid cake. We've done these for about five, six nights now. They've worked every single time, so I decided to show you guys. Okay. All right, into the microwave for sixty-five seconds. My microwave is filthy. Lord. All right, and I'll show you how it looks in just a second. Okay, can you tell which one I did one-handed and which one I did two? Hmm, I wonder. Anyway, that's it. These can store in the refrigerator. Um, I don't know how for how long, because we usually eat them the same day, sometimes the next day, but um, they're delicious. They're moist, they're soft like a cake. They're yummy, you guys, and they make the perfect, and they're a good size too, look. I mean, this is, this is like, that's a good size little cakelet. Anyway, that's it. Throw some strawberries and some whipped cream up there. You got a one carb dessert that is delicious.